Oh, got another drive here. Lev Team Yeshiva. Lev Team Yeshiva. Wonder what that is. Okay, let's hit the road. How you doing? <laughs> no way, right, brother right. Barry. You're driving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started doing this for like a shtickle side hustle. You know how it goes. Oh, oh, why, brother Barry? Wow, yeah. wow, it's my lucky day. Wow, how do you like this? Yeah, let's go, let's go, brother Barry. Okay, Joey. Hey. Mr. <laughs> Joey is driving a car. <laughs> so about I'm, I'm gonna call you. You is more of a balagula. I hear, I hear. You look like a balagula. Taka, that's the avoid. What do you think? I have? this is my side avoid. Okay, so fill me in. Hey, look at Brother Barry. What is what is this place? Lev Teen? What's the Indian? What's the avoid? This place is the warmest place in Monty these days. It's a home for teens, and they have a uh, left teen center at night where uh, boys uh, come and hang out. They have a little sheer, you know, just a place where they get the warmth they need. So basically, it's for chevra that have an extra large nishama. Exactly. As if that's the way to put it. Exactly. So you tell know. me, Brother Barry, you grew up around here? This is, no. this is your hood? I no? actually, see, Muncie, Muncie, Muncie is my tzfas. You know, I moved out from Yerushalayim. <laughs> I grew up in Yerushalayim, the Vilnius Spring. I hear. Yerushalayim. Oh, uh, really? Vilnius Spring? You grew up in Yerushalayim? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, of course. Wow, mom in the hood. In the B. <laughs> I went to Yeshiva in Westchester. And then to Itzestro, and then I married in Monroe, and then I moved to Mont. Wow, okay, so take me through the journey a little bit. Okay, you know? I, was, I always loved to sing. Uh, I used to uh, lock myself into... Uh, the laundry room? The laundry room. I, <laughs> that was my uh, studio. That's great. There's a good, uh, good acoustics there. Exactly, I took a tape recorder, and I sang like songs. Really? Wow, so I it was always in songs. your heart. Yeah. Uh -huh. Any specific Misa story sticks out from your childhood with regard to music, with regard to singing and Ched or something? I'll tell you what, I, I used to sing as a, as a child. Um, it wasn't very in style to be a wonder child at the time. Um, I used to, my father used to buy a lot of all of these tapes, so I, I, I knew all of the songs, I was very into it. Uh, my, my father even had uh, Of Simchas. Kalbach album, Svardi album. Which really? One, right? yeah. That was allowed? <laughs> so I remember I was once in eighth grade and we went to a trip to Intrepid. Um, Intrepid. The Intrepid. Good city, yeah. Yeah. And and my my Rebbe, he wanted to, uh, you know, tighten tighten the ropes to make sure everybody's behaving. You know, don't, don't think that we're going to Intrepid and you can smile now or something. <laughs> so he went through everybody's bags to see what they brought along. Hey, you know what he called by me? Oh no. He called by me gum. Okay. Gum. Chewing gum. Oh, that was a that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. And in uh, uh, album uh, tape. Okay, and he was so, upset about that. Of course. <laughs> he took it out. He's like, "Whose is this?" I'm like, "Me." Left back. He put me back to fifth grade. Well, what would you say was your favorite song from that album that you got in trouble for? I, I remember Gam Kielach, and as I was walking down to the fifth grade, I was singing So his Hasidim were, were, were going with him. So he said, Gamki Eilach begets al Moves, even when I go in the, in the, in the, the, va in the shadow of the valley. Lo ira. I'm not afraid. Ra, the bad part of it is, Ki ato emadi drashem, that you're going along with me. Shinta bagalisa. I'm always asking me, like, who's, who's your Rebbe music? I say, uh, like how like how like because both sing with their heart with an neshama and that's that's the key by me love that when I when I put my whole neshama into singing how's it how's it with you no 
Same thing, same thing, Pasha. Yeah. It has to be. It, it's funny, because when people ask me who my rep is in music, I always say Shloy Makamba and A.B. Rottenberg. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, you know, for me, we grew up yeah. English speaking and stuff like that. So, right. so but that was so full of the Wow, what a Haley Ganiga. And that's what you got in trouble for. Exactly. How do you get in trouble for such was, a Haley Ganiga? That was probably the gum. <laughs> it was the shorter gum. Ah, okay, so this was in Puppa, right? It was in Puppa Cheder. Cheder. Yeah. Very nice. Right okay. So you went on trips. So that was probably in the summer, no? No. The summer we went to the to the country. Oh, the, oh. Summer we went to the country. The country is no trips. No trips. The activity is you take the Russia Madrigim, takes a bag of chollen beans, spread it out in the big green field. I remember that. And go to the scavenger Ganeim. hunt. Oh. <laughs> go to Ganeim. Go to Gehenna, go look, go, go look for beans. Go look for me. The purple one was the yeah, most valuable. Exactly. I remember and Whoever found, every, for every cup, you got one ticket. And after you got like five, six tickets, you wanted to go to win a yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> another, another day to waste. So, you know, the, the fun part in camp was that there was a mic, and it went to like, they had like three camps. And in the three weeks, um, there, was, there was no music. So I would, um, I would sing on the mic. I remember singing uh, um, Al Naras Bulma from Pirche, you know that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's a classic. Wow. So, okay, so you were singing already in Yeshiva and camp, you were singing. Yeah, yeah. but I, like, like, yeah. Very so, nice. um, but, but I, I didn't consider myself as a singer or so on. Right, right, I know, understand. Like, I see them, everybody sings. Right, right. <laughs> Here, Shabbos, Natisha. Okay, so let's get a rendition of it. <laughs> Okay, so Brother Barry, how did it all start with high school? Where did you start with music? Uh, I don't know the previous Gilgul. Gil <laughs> it could have started already. But at this Gilgul, uh, as a kid, um, I, I, I mean, like you're talking about in a professional... Yeah, at some level. So, you know, so in camp it was all fun and so on, but um, once I turned like 9, 10, I got approached by J.J. Freed. He was producing, uh, he was working together, I remember, with uh, Ding and with uh, MBD, and so he started uh, hooking me up with these uh, solos and albums, various albums. As a kid? As a kid. Okay. One of the most unique ones that I remember was uh, I sang on a Jep album. I didn't even know what Jep is at the time. And um, it was Jep 5. And there's a song of about the Kalava, Kalava Rebbe. Yeah. And the song is about, you know, how he, uh, how he took that song from a shepherd and, and you know, and he, uh, he turned it into a... We saw so I, so that, that, so, that was on so, there? Yeah, so I'm singing, I'm singing that. Well, once they finish the song, they're like, the, I'm singing as the Chassidah Shakid, I'm singing that verse. You know the song? You know the words, wow. Oh, this is not going to make it up the hill. No, it isn't. Wow, that's pretty wild. Yeah. I got to go back and hear that album now. Oh, Jet yeah. 5. What would come after that? What was the next thing? But uh, once, I, once I got my hat on, I was 13. Shop was closed. Done. Forget, never happened. Why is that? Let, that? That was, you know, that was the policy of the my father. I think it was a smart move. Okay. Um, because, you know, I he wanted me to, to realize that, um, you know, as a kid, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. He had his thing, and I respect that. Once I got older, um, I didn't even consider singing. Although, when I was in Israel, and I learned the mirror, I got my first guitar in the Shukar Avi. Oh. And um, just because I like the humbling part of it. <laughs> you got it for 20 shekels. How much is this guitar? How much do you have? 
Yeah, I say I'm the check. Ah, no, go away. And then I start walking. They're like, okay, bo, 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 bo. Okay, hundred fifty. I'm like, no, 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 no. Only have hundred. Okay, go, 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 go. Then I go. He's like, okay, come, come back. back. Under twenty. <laughs> And so on and so on. I made it to 50 shekels. No, he went yeah. under 100. I made it to 50. He, he, he was cursing me out. I got I got a guitar for 50 shekels. I decorated with Nana stickers. Oh wow! And then I had a complete look. Yeah, I used to go every Thursday night. We used to go to Kaver David. We used to sit there every Thursday night, and I would jam with my guitar. I, I remember I learned my first chords, one, two, three. And then I composed songs, and we used to sing there, you know, all night until until Shmuelis Abayke. We went to Daven by Shem. I went to Daven by Shimon Atzadik. Amazing. I didn't even know you composed songs. You composed songs, brother? Yeah, Barry? of course, of course. You know Lachina Ranana? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, that's that's one of my songs. Was that on your first album? No, that was on my Thank You Hashem album. Oh, Thank You Hashem album. Thank You Hashem album. <laughs> Oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> That's great. Wow, great nigga. By the way, I see you were in the vibe. You were grooving already in Earth as well. Yeah. We also we used to sit around and start bringing and come to the That's where it all starts. Yeah. Okay. That's that's when I started I started realizing, you know, what what life is about. I mean, I've been in Israel when I was 13, 14, but you know what? Living there, you know, being a part of that. Oh, that you know, the, you know, it's your day-to-day -day thing. It just gives you a whole new reality. I re really started getting a a, a sense of premius. Um, it was mamish the best achana for me to you know before I got married. You know, later I went to I got married in Monroe. Oh, wow. You know? Monroe. Monroe. Curious Monroe. oil. Curious oil. It's funny because when I got married, I I didn't pursue a, a career of singing. Like I didn't see myself as a singer, and I, I started. To, Doing construction. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. You know who my manager was? Yoli Labowitz. Yoli Labowitz is your <laughs> in construction. Yeah. That is just greatness. Yeah, Wait, you got yeah. married in Monroe? Yeah. What did you walk down to? What's that? What song did you walk down the to? To Hava Nagila. <laughs> but the, the 2008 crash came and it was just no work. I stayed home and my wife told me about a, her friend's husband that uh, used to go after coil used to go at night to like a studio that someone had and they they did backup vocals and they got paid twelve dollars an hour which was more than I got in my professional wow. and I was like what you get twelve dollars an hour and all you need to do is sing <laughs> sign me up <laughs> this so, is a wild story so, so I went yes. down there with my nana guitar and they were like huh <laughs> so machine a man and a guitar you can play and sing like and the guy that, uh, you know, uh, the guy who saw that, you know, I have some uniqueness, he uh, called up Naftali Schnitzel, which his friend got married. Okay. And uh, Naftali Schnitzel actually wanted to produce a singer. So that's how I got into my first album. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, the song that I composed on my first album is a Haim. You know a Haim? Yeah. It's a song that I was basically longing to, you know, Right, right. It's a, beautiful back, song. it's a beautiful song. Somebody told me he thinks it's bigger than than Rebun. I'm not sure about that. Huh? Let's see them. Oh, is it really? In a sense, it's deeper. <laughs> Shmai 
yarim gaim Ahayim Velemir gaim Tagiri shulayim Ubawen ahayim Mom is fire. Barry, you mentioned that you had Nanach stickers on your guitar. Right. I don't know if that's Megal or anything, but I want to know <laughs> when did you get into the third Rabbeinu, the third Rabbeinu, uh, the Breslov? When did you get into that? When, when was that avoided? So that's a good question. But you know what? I'll ask you first. I realize your payas <laughs> is going... The cross the other way. The other way. <laughs> so you're aware of that? Of course I'm aware of that. I always, my entire life, I had to be different. <laughs> So I was like, but I'm going to make the cross. I just have to hear the... You wow. just realized today? I just realized that. Wow. The first time I went to Breslov is when I, uh, the, the, the Rosh Hashanah before I got engaged. Um, a whole funny story. You ended up in Uman. Ended up in Uman. You know, thanks to Reb Chaim, Reb Chaim Yerushalayim, Reb Chaim Daskal, Zechit Tzadik And uh, when, I, when, I, when I got married, I lived in Monroe. So over there I went, I dabbed by my shver. Yeah. Um, but then when I moved to Monsi, I didn't have a shul where to daven. So my wife suggested maybe the first, you know, Roshana, you don't have where to daven. You always had a dream to go uh, to, to Uman after, you know, after, you know. So my maybe wife this, said that. My wife, wow. Yeah, my wife helped me with that. And since then, I always went. Wow. So, so you know, what, what's the first title? How, how, how does Lakit Amaran start? Lachi Chazim et Palais. Rabbi starts with that, that Rabbi Shimon says, Kilesi Shochach Mechpizarai. As the Rosh Taivas, Reb Nachman was Megala there. That? Reb Nachman was Megala the Rosh Taivas of Kiloisi Shachaf Me Pizarre. In, 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 uh, in Meron, where it says. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, in Meron, yeah, in the arch, yeah. That, that Rosh Taivas, Sefer Taivas. That was from Reb Nachman. Is Reb Nachman. Wow, it's it's, wow, it's in Agdama of the uh, in the, of Lakit of Lakut Meron. So for me, Reb Shimon was, you know, was getting into Reb Nachman more. So you have a song about Reb Shimon? Rabbi Shimon ben Yechui Oima Rabbi Shimon ben Yechui Oima Chas, 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 v'shul Lam shetish dakach toiru Toiru, toiru, You know the old cars, they have like this switch that makes the car go up and down, huh? You don't have that? Airbag Shok, kach mi pizaroi Ki loi, 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 loi si shokha if I had to guess, this is your most famous song. Uh, in a sense, yes. I, I would, you know, between this and the Reboin, probably, and Yachad. But Reboin, Reboin really like spanned for a long time. Like it really got into the hearts of people. Still, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in, in my sense, you know, I, I think it's it's like a slow thank you Hashem song. Yeah. <laughs> you know. When, when I did Thank You Hashem uh, eight years ago, I did a Yiddish song. It didn't really take off. It wasn't the time. Right, right, right. And then you came with that Thank You Hashem thingy, and Hashem was like, you know what, now's the time. We gotta get the Litvish as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we did it in a slow <laughs> crying song. You know, you know that you say in the, in the Megillah, there's a, in the Megillah, there's this uh, part where they, 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 they say that, Eicha. Eicha, the Lenin Eicha. You know why? So the Litvax could have some good. I also have a Simchasyanta. So they're like, not upon the deeds can we depend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at Brother Barry, Mama. That was something. That was that was that was something special. That's, 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 that's a song that goes into your. It goes into your soul. Yeah. You know? It's a kriechtan.
Talking about getting into people's souls, well, my, uh, you know, if I bring it on behalf of Amudim, the Heilig Amudim, right. what do you say? What do you say? What do you have to say about how Amudim impacted the world and how it affects it's everybody? Amazing because Amud, Amudim is the pole, you know, it's, it's the, we finish with the pole of Chesed. And Chesed has uh, two sides to it. And we need to be misakin the, the Chesed to elevate it. And uh, Amudim is doing that, you know, we're going to people who really need it and uh, the mamish mamish they're giving them a, a new chance in life it's a new chance at life because when, when a person has a, a place that he fell down he, he feels lost he's like we, we the i am a kind of is you know we, we always find the shem when we're up there right you know, that's where we feel comfortable but when we're down there we feel like we went away but it's not true we went we fell into Hashem. And most people get lost there. And the avoid there is to find the Shem find down the there. And Amudim there. is helping those. But I feel about Star Ocean Psycho. Amudim. That's, that's how we bring Mashiach. Yachat, Shifta Yisrael. Yachat, Shifta. Bringing everybody back together. Yachat, Ko Yisrael, Yachat. Ulam. Ulam, Yachat, Shil Vehalel. Ulam, Yachat, אז יבוא מלך המשיח כשאנחנו יחד, כל ישראל יחד so there's another song, there's another song that, I forgot which album it is, but the Chabad's Kinnig, you brought that back, it was a Haley Yeah, it was on the Thank You Hashem album song. Thank You Hashem, Thank you Hashem album. album is. Yeah. So you're the founder of Thank You Hashem, you started it before it even well. started. The founder is uh, the, the Leia. Leia, Leia, Leia. Leia, 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 Leia. But really, I got inspired by Haravarush. I was very into listening to uh, the Toyota's Haravarush. Uh, Blazer Brody used to interpret Translate it. in English, yeah. So he would always say, thank you, Hashem. I remember then was, I mean, being that I'm a Yiddish-speaking guy, you know, thank you, Hashem. was funny. was like, thank you, Shkoyach, right. Thank you, Hashem. So we took it as a mission. It was a whole group of people. And uh, so I, I named my album, Thank You, Hashem. But... Um, it wasn't the time, it wasn't the time, but uh, but I'm glad that uh, eventually, you know, you blew it out of the park. <laughs> but, yes, 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 yes. but you put the, you put the plant of the seed, you planted the... Everybody, everybody plants another seed, another seed until, you know, until Mashiach is going to finalize the real thank you, Hashem. But the Chabatsky song he's, it was also, you know, I, 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 I couldn't, in the beginning I didn't connect to it. I remember it came in like two weeks before my album was out. Really? And uh, well, my my album was already in the mix, and this guy suggested the song, and I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. And then he's like, if you're not taking it, then you know I'm using for someone else. I was like, yeah, it's that good. Wow. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, so let's so go. It snuck into the album. And then and you know it's like, phew, blew out of the park. Oh really? Wow. Memory lane right there. Huh? We're going in circles, I'm so sorry. I guess this is why it's your side job. <laughs> I don't understand. You needed to go here to shine us. Yeah. Your yeshiva's right there, so why didn't you just walk? Because I'm a Rosh Hashiva, Rosh Hashiva doesn't walk. <laughs> wow! Now I've heard it all. I wanted to ride with you. I hear, now that's a good reason. Yeah. Wow, so we're at Shiners. My whole life I wanted to go to Shiners, you know that? Yeah, you know there's free soup over here. Is there really? Yeah. I always heard about Shiners. I want to go into Shiners for Frank, see what's going on over there. Oh, Should we walk into Shiners? Love it. Yeah, let's yeah? go in, of course. Hey, look at Shiners. Okay. Ah, oh, this was fun. <laughs> Who needs a Tesla? Yeah, I know, I'm an hour late. 
I know. I was just riding with Joey. Joey's my ride. Have you gone to Shiner like Of course, that's the whole idea of Shiner. <laughs> Only Shiner is that you don't have to.